Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Bristol Community College. My name's Wendy Sanford, and I'm the program coordinator for the CNA program here at BCC. I'd like to welcome all of you to our CNA pinning ceremony this evening. I want to thank you all for coming, and I'd like to thank all the family and friends that have come tonight. The students couldn't have done this without the support of all of you, the babysitting, the meals being cooked, the helping them study, all of that, um, being there their patients while they're at home to practice different skills on. So thank you. Um, they couldn't have succeeded without the support of the family and friends that are here today to support them. So thank you for coming. To all the students that are here, I know the first days of class, some of you thought, is this the right move? Did I make the right decision by coming to BCC and deciding to be a CNA? I'm here to tell you, you've all made the right decision. You all have the compassion, you all have the caring, and you've all made it. Um, You've picked a very rewarding and self-gratifying field. Um, you'll be receiving many thank yous from your patients every day. The smiles will warm your hearts every single day. Some people ask, what, what is a CNA? What does a CNA do? Or some people might say, you're only a CNA? This is a little poem that I'd like to share with you. Who are you to refer to us as only a CNA? We're the ones who wash and dress our patients for the day. We're the ones who take the time to listen to them speak. We listen about their lifetime in a 40-hour week. We also give our hands to hold when someone's feeling scared. It's not easy being a patient. You're never quite prepared. We take the time to listen by lending both our ears. We listen to their worries or how they've spent their years. Our arms were made to reach and even wrap around to give our patients hugs when they're feeling a little down. We help our patients do the things they used to do on their own. Everyone needs some help, even when we're grown. So who are you to refer us as only a CNA? We do our best to meet their needs within our working day. We choose to do this job. This job did not choose us. We sympathize and empathize. Compassion is a must. We try to keep them comfortable and free of any fear. We sit along beside them when that time is near. We hold their hand, stroke their hair, just making sure they know. They're not alone, alone and aid is there. It's okay for them to go. To all the CNAs, keep your health health high. We're not only CNAs, we're angels in disguise. So remember that as you travel on through your career, you'll have many different patients that you'll touch lives you'll never forget. I know many of you have stories from clinical. The first day you entered clinical, you were scared. The last day you left in tears because you made a connection with somebody, um, with a patient that you'll never forget. So remember, never ever lose your compassion for caring throughout your career. Um, and remember to always keep your held, head held high because you are an absolute necessity to the healthcare field. Um, you're the eyes and ears for any nurse um, that's out there. They really rely on your CNA capabilities drastically. Um, we've had this semester, we've had over 50 graduates. We've had um, nine students from a People Incorporated group that came with us, and we also had 50 um, students as well. So we've had about 60 students graduate this semester, which is a great accomplishment. Um, and we're very happy for all of you. And again, thank you for coming. Um, I would like to thank our BCC president, John, Jack Sprager, and our um, VP for Workforce, Joe Menard, who couldn't be here. Also, Terry and Carmen and Nikki for our support in the program. Um, we've had excellent um, instructors as well who are all here, Suzanne, Sue, Judy, Kim, and Danielle as well. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to um, two of the students who will come up and speak. We have Anna Silver and Paige Miranda, please. Good evening and welcome to the uh, CNA pin and ceremony. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the CNAs who are graduating this evening and receiving your pin. Um, I've been a CNA for 17 years and I had to go back for my certification because I was doing private duty for a while and I can tell you that what Wendy said, you truly are angels. You know, I've had so many residents look at me and being on there you know, in, at the end of their life and look at me and, and literally say, I am their angel, you know, like when I'm holding their hand. So it's amazing. 
Um, I also want to thank the family and friends um, of all the students for coming tonight and sharing this special occasion with us. And I also have to thank our instructors who we could not have done this without you guys. You guys are also angels. You know, we drove you guys crazy at times, <laughs> many times, but you, uh, you dealt with us and thank you guys. So um, we started out as a group of students, you know, strangers really in a class. Um, and we've all grown into friends. Like I know I've made some lifelong friends in my classroom. Um, and we've all supported each other overcome obstacles. You know, some of us had weaknesses and other ones had strengths. And we've really, you know, helped each other to shine in our strengths. So I want to thank my classmates, you know, who really helped me with my weaknesses. Um, nothing could have prepared us for this amazing journey that we've been on, you know, the past few months. Um, we have learned and done things that we never thought we could have done. You know, we have overcome boundaries that seemed impossible, and we have forged intimate relationships with our, um, our patients, you know, that will last us a lifetime. I can still remember the first patient that I took care of in clinical 17 years ago, and every name on my first assignment at my first job of every person that I had for the first week. So um, we are no longer just ordinary you know, men and women. We are now CNAs. We are held up to a higher standard to take care of others. So um, be proud of that. Be proud of yourselves for do that. I um, just want to say, after today, many of us will go on. Some of us won't see each other, unfortunately, anymore. Some of us will automatically enter the work field start new jobs. Some of us will continue on our education and become nurses, um, which I just got accepted for August, so I'm excited for Brockton. Um, wherever life takes us, though, um, wherever we work, we will all be great CNAs because of our training, um, you know, here at BCC. So I am very grateful to have attended here 17 years ago and again these past few months. So thank you very much. Thank you, Anna, that was great. Next, I'd like to introduce our President Jack Spraga to come up and say a few words. Good evening, everyone, and uh, what a great uh, occasion this is. Uh, I wanna speak to the graduates and say, you, uh, congratulations, first of all, you made it. Uh, but uh, my words to you is, uh, are to keep going on this educational ladder. Uh, it's a pathway that o opens unlimited possibilities for you. Uh, you've already done the hardest part. If you can remember that first day when you uh, just were going to look into this program, let alone enter it, uh, and that's, uh, that's a courageous decision on your part and, uh, and inspires uh, the rest of us as we see you move forward. You set a goal, you move forward, and here you are tonight, complete uh, with it uh, very successfully. And now the idea is to look, look for the next steps on this pathway. And BCC is here to offer you an array of programs and certificates uh, for you to test your wings, right? And to keep going. Uh, the uh, healthcare field badly needs you, badly needs the, dedicated, uh, the dedication and the commitment that you bring uh, to your work. And uh, so we're very proud of you. I know you want to thank the faculty and staff that supported you throughout uh, your stay with us in this program and also the uh, uh, faculty, uh, the uh, parents and loved ones and support network that you had uh, as you moved through it. Yeah, I know you would be the first to say you couldn't make it without them. So we're very grateful to you, uh, 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 you supporters, uh, to make sure that our graduates made it to tonight. So I thank you. I wish you uh, all the best. And uh, please know that you're a member now of the BCC family and of any help that we can provide uh, that we're here for you. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, President Spraga. Next, I'd like to introduce Jeannie Willette and Amanda Cabral and Judith Robertson to come up and speak. Come on up, girls. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <You're too high. laughs> 
Hi everyone, my name is Amanda. We just want to thank our instructors Suzanne and Judy for helping us and inspiring us throughout the program. We all enjoyed the clinical at first and we were really nervous, but by the end of the last day we felt so comfortable that we did not want to leave. Thank you for guiding us and preparing us for our future careers. We cannot wait and are so excited to begin our futures. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda and Jeannie Ouellette. Hi, my name is Jeannie Ouellette, and I've been asked to share my experience with this BCC CNA course. Let me start by telling you that it was more of a challenge than I expected, but a very thorough learning experience for me, and it was taught very well. <laughs> Our program coordinator and course instructor, Wendy Sanford, who I call Superwoman, <laughs> was always there to help us with any questions. I think for me and my classmates, the online course started out a little bit rough. <laughs> um, but we were all able to get through it with Wendy we were calling her, and even at the end of her pregnancy, she was up night grading uh, papers and answering my questions, and, and uh, I don't know how she did it, but she did a great job. <laughs> and Judy Andrade, our clinical instructor, was really great to work with. She, she had a way to put our minds at ease <laughs> and uh, get us through all the learning experience that we had teaching us our skills. It was awesome. And I enjoyed great working with you guys. It was so much fun. And both Wendy and Judy have the patience and compassion to be both great nurses and teachers. Uh, we now have the ability to care for others as CNAs. I really enjoy working with them and my fellow classmates. I think they feel the same. Some people say, like Wendy, we might be only a CNA, but to our residents and patients, we will be the most valuable people, caring for them, listening, holding their hands, and giving them a hug. It takes a, it takes a special kind of person to do this best job in the world, caring for others. Thank you. Thank you, Jeannie. Next, I'd like to introduce Nicole Collard. Andre, she's the Director of Community Education. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Um, first, I'd like to add my congratulations to all of the students who um, have overcome some nervousness um, in making this first step into a new career. I'm very proud to be standing here with you tonight celebrating your success. Um, take a moment to let this experience really reach you. We all move so quickly, and this is one of those nights you'll look back on and want to remember. Um, you, have, you have and, and will continue to hear many times that the career path that you've chosen will be very well rewarding, and it will, but it will not be easy. But as you already know, success comes with a lot of hard work. Um, and from making the choices that you've already started to make and to invest in yourselves and your education, I'd like to offer my assistance to you as you continue investing in yourself. There are many, as President Sprague said, there are many opportunities for you here at BCC, whether that be an advanced CNA class or in pursuing a credit program. Please feel free to reach out to me. I want to help you. I would also like to um, recognize, as many of you have already, your instructors. Um, they spend lots of time, I know, making sure that you have everything that you need to be successful. And just like um, what President Sprague said about you being part of the BCC family, that doesn't go away. Um, they will continue to be here for you as you move on through your career and through your life. And I'm sure that they would be very happy to keep in touch with all of you as well as you do that. Um, I want to recognize Wendy Sanford, who, um, through a pregnancy, man managed to maintain um, an unbelievable amount of work uh, workload during that time. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and as she got closer and closer to her due date, she kept saying, okay, I think this might be the last day. I think this might be the last day. And it was like, no, you can't. Here's something else to do. I need you. <laughs> So we just want to uh, say thank you to her um, from the rest of the staff as well. Um, so thanks, Wendy. So I wish you the best, and again, congratulations, and please remember, enjoy this night. It's for you. Thank you, Nikki. Next, I would like to introduce um, a couple more students to come up and speak. Kendra, Nicole Gala. If you could both come up, please.
right. Good evening, everyone. So first off, I want to start by saying congratulations, as everyone else has already said, to my fellow classmates for making it through the program. Um, I also want to give a special thank you to my instructor, Kim, for giving up her Saturdays these past three months, which I sure wasn't that easy. Um, and she helped us get through it. So as some of you know, I um, graduated two years ago um, from the University of Vermont, and it wasn't until recently that I realized I wanted to pursue a career in medicine. And that's actually what led me here to BCC, um, because I wanted to go on to physician assistant school, and they want some previous healthcare experience. So I started looking around, and I thought, OK, I can be a CNA. And um, that's what led me here. So if I were to be completely honest, I would say that I came into this uh, class without many worries. I thought it would be a breeze, um, thinking that my background and my experience working in a hospital um, would make me ready for whatever came my way. But you know, as in many other instances in my life, I was wrong. <laughs> the uh, skills portion of the class and the hands-on experience that we had during clinical days um, proved sometimes challenging with all the glove changes, privacy rules, hand washes. You know, I was going a little crazy. And I think some of my classmates can probably relate to that. But with the guidance from our instructors, and I, and I'm sure others, um, began to grow more confident and more comfortable with the responsibilities of a CNA. And I mean, at least that's what I thought until the first day I went to clinical. So all of our practice and studying came to fruition when we began clinical rotations. And I remember walking in on the first day of clinical um, with the sun still rising, thinking to myself, how the heck am I going to make it through the day? And I was pretty nervous. I remember walking down the hallway into my residence room, my heart pounding, not knowing what to expect. And the first day was stressful, as I expected, trying to put what we learned in the classroom to use on real patients. And as many of you may guess, um, practicing wheelchair transfers or brief changes on someone in your class is not really the same as doing it on an elderly patient. But as the day moved on, I began to feel more at ease and really started to enjoy myself. And by the last day, we all felt like professionals. We had formed special bonds with our residents. And we were really sad to leave them. And I think my classmates really helped us my classmates and I helped each other get through the 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. shifts. And without them, I don't think I would have made it. And of course, with the help of our instructors, they were there by our side to make sure we were doing everything right and make sure we were doing OK. And um, getting through this class and working in a nursing home for the first time was certainly an eye-opening experience for me. I truly admire people like our instructors who devout, devote their time to helping the elderly community. And as I move forward in my education, I believe that this experience will prove very be beneficial for me. And I want to thank all the instructors and Wendy once again um, for making a wonderful and an enjoyable experience. And lastly, I want to thank my classmates for putting up with me and my energy at the wee hours of the morning. I love you guys. Thank you, Nicole. Great job. Now I'll introduce Kendra. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kendra. I really did not want to do this. <laughs> um, I want to thank our instructors because they really helped me learn how to do it the proper way. Um, I've been helping my aunt out for a couple of years. Um, she has cancer. And uh, I really got close to her. Um, but I made it through. Don't know how. Um, I couldn't have done it without my mother for babysitting my son. And I did make very good friends with a lot of classmates. Going to clinical was really fun. And I got to meet a lot of different residents, not just the one I was assigned to. Um, I did have a very close conversation with a couple of them. And it was really sad to see us leave. And they wanted us to stay, especially I had one lady beat me at checkers. I swear. <laughs> she hustled me. <laughs> Um, but it was a great experience, and I am very appreciative for everything that they have done for me, and as well as my mother. I couldn't have done without any of the classmates either. They helped me study. Me and Amanda, we text back and forth for studying for the test, freaking out. Um, but I am very grateful for meeting everybody and having this great experience. Thank you.
Thank you, Kendra, and thank you to all the students that came up and spoke today. It takes a lot of um, takes a lot to come up here and speak in front of a large group. So if we could all give a round of applause to all the students that came up and spoke. Next, I would like to introduce uh, Teresa Romanovich, who is our Associate VP of the Workforce. Well, I told her I wouldn't speak if I had to go after students, because who wants to listen to me after you've heard those wonderful speeches? Amazing. You guys are really, really have done a wonderful job complimenting each other, complimenting your faculty members, complimenting your family, the little ones, not so little ones. So I'm really impressed. Um, proud to be here. It's always, always fun to be at a graduation, but this is a special one. You guys really change lives. You really make a difference every day you come to work. There are people who depend on you for things that they can't do anymore. Now, you might think this is blonde hair, and I appreciate that, but it's not. And so as I get older and I want to have someone like you, when I get to the point when I need that. I want people who care, who want to be PAs, who want to take care of me, who care. People called you angels. Um, I want somebody like that to take care of me when I need that. And I think that what you're doing is absolutely amazing because that poem that Wendy wrote, who's a CNA? A lot of people feel that way till they need you. They think it's important to be a doctor, but really, I see my doctor for five minutes. When my mom needed a CNA, she saw her every single day of the week. And that was the person who really made a difference in her life. So whatever you do, never ever underestimate what you have accomplished by doing this, how these people have changed your lives, and how you now have to go out there and change other people's lives. This is a real opportunity. This isn't a gift that you've been given and you can just say, okay, I'm gonna just do nothing with it. You have to go out there now and make a difference. This is your chance to change the world. And it sounds like from the speakers who are up here that you will do that. And I think that's the most important thing. And whatever you do and however you do it, make sure you make a difference in someone's life because it's an unbelievable feel that you're in and whether people recognize it all the time or not doesn't matter. What matters is that you know what you're doing. And don't stop here. If you have the inkling to move on, we've arranged it so that you can actually get six college credit for what you did in the CNA program. So for all of you who don't think you're a college student with college credits, guess what? You are. So how about a big round of applause for these college students? Congratulations. Thank you, Terry. Next, I would like to do our presentation of certificates. So we're going to ask if the students, if you could all make your way to the stairs and we'll present the certificates in order. Um, you'll come across and get your certificate and then your instructor will be able to pin you. Okay. Yeah, why that way? If, when I call you up, just come up. You'll be fine. Yeah, they can okay. go right along. And then, yeah. Yep. I just want to make sure we hand the right certificate to the right. Okay. Our first student, Kendra Abrantes. Rochelle Almeida. She's not here. I don't think she's here. Yeah, let's see that. She's not here. 
Brittany Barron. Danielle Botello. Congratulations, Danielle. Julie Botello. Alana Bowles. Amanda Cabral. Congratulations. Suzanne Cole. Christine Copley. Congratulations. Janelle Costa. She's not here. Taylor Cody. Chastity Da Silva. <laughs> Jeffrey De Lima. Elizabeth DeMello. Thank you, Jeffrey. We had uh, two, two males this semester. Yep. Yeah. Sandra Ferreira. Congratulations. Natasha Furtado. She's not here. Nicole Gale. Mary Jane Gibar. Aliyah Love. Kaylee Marcelino. Congratulations. Erica Mellon. Paige, Paige wasn't here, right? Hmm? Paige. Mm -mm. Renee Navarro. Jeannie Woolat. Who, who's standing in line, Suzanne? Mm -hmm. Who did we forget? Who did we forget? She's standing in line. Uh, that's Katie Manlin. Katie Manlove. Radiance Willette. <laughs> Lorietta Pasani. Congratulations. 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 
Andrea Perry. Marina Penn. <laughs> Ashley Reed. Anna Sylvia Congratulations Donna Sylvia Sandra Soares. John Souza. Carissa Spring. Jacqueline Stark. Christy Vieira. <laughs> Jessica Vincelet. Katie Washburn. And Lai Chi Wong. Of applause for all the students. Great job. I know for myself, and I think I can speak for the instructors, these graduations are so great for us as instructors to see the difference that you guys make every day and the smiles that you're going to bring to patients' faces and the life that you're going to bring into facilities that you're going out. Um, to work. It's great. You guys are amazing and congratulations again to all of you. I would like to take the time right now. It is Nurses um, Week and Teacher Appreciation Week. So I would like to thank all of um, my, the instructors that we have working for this program. Suzanne Parent. And Suzanne has done an amazing job stepping in and filling in um, my place while I've been on maternity leave. So she's taken out a lot of extra responsibilities this semester. So thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> Sue Sylvia. Thank you. Judy Andrade. Kim Lord. And last but not least, Danielle Lambert. Thank you. 
I can't thank these ladies enough. They've, they are first thing in the morning for clinical. They're emailing me at night concerns that they have. They're there for everything. They're there when they're not feeling well. Um, and they're just amazing, amazing instructors. And I couldn't ask for better instructors to work with that can really teach the compassion um, and show you the compassion of what needs to be a CNA as well. So again, a round of applause for our wonderful instructors. Also, I'd like to thank the Adult Basic Education Department and their team. We've had um, a few students that have completed the program with their support and help, so thank you to them. Yay, Bernie. Also, I want to say a big thank you to the Transformation Agenda, um, Kristen McKenna and Ada Snow, who were very grateful um, to put together the job fair for us that we had prior to um, the ceremony tonight, which was fabulous, and the um, employers were very impressed with all of the CNAs, so I'd like to thank them for putting that together as well. I also would like to thank um, all of our clinical sites. We couldn't do this program without having wonderful places to send the students in to train. Like the students said, they practice in class, as you could see from the slideshow, on each other. But it's very, very different practicing on your fellow classmate or your parent at home or your child at home and then going into a facility and doing it on a real person that's telling you no or doesn't want it done that way or wants it done differently. So we couldn't do this and they couldn't be as trained as they are without having the support from our clinical sites. Um, so I'd like to uh, thank South Point Rehabilitation, Fall River Jewish, and Sacred Heart Nursing Home that we've used this semester. So a big thank you to those facilities as well. As you can see from the slideshow, our students do have a lot of fun while they're in class. Um, you can see them trying on briefs on each other, and, but it's all fun while we're learning, and that's, that's a lot of what they need is just fun and learning at the same time. I'm pleased to announce that there are several students here tonight that have already passed the state certification exam and are CNAs as of tonight. There are several that will be taking it within the next couple of weeks. So congratulations to those that have passed. At this point, we're just going to show a quick video, and then we'll wrap the program up. Yeah, he said it. It's just going to be one minute. when I was in the military, when people got hurt, I was always the person they came to talk to. Eric, check this out. And I was always right there with my nose in it. What interested, what interested me in taking the CNA program was seeing my parents go through hospitals, having nurses, basically not telling them the full answer. Well, my father got sick a couple of years ago and I took care of him and uh, I didn't feel I was doing it properly. I was doing as best I could. And then uh, my sister, she's an RN. A buddy of mine who I went to uh, work with there for a few years, he became an RN. I figured, why not get involved with the CNA, you know, for the cost of the class. I can decide whether I want to go any, any further with it. And, uh, and now any other of my relatives in the future will get better care if nothing else comes out of it. Oh, it's been great. This is uh, something completely new to me. I'm always outside working with equipment or working with uh, people. I have never done anything with people. Well, Suzanne, the instructor, she's been very informative, answers all the questions that need to be answered. It's very easy. Um, just to commute, like, I don't have to make a big commute and just drive because I live about 15 minutes from here, so it's quite easy for me to get here. I would recommend it to other people. Simply, it's very hands-on, instructors are great, and you have a sense of like belonging, and it just makes you feel a whole lot better just knowing the instructors are teaching you well. When I'm finished here at BTC, I hope to get a job in either a CNA, uh, in a nursing facility, or a home health aide. If I can get in a program, for example, uh, at the VA, I'm a veteran. If I can get in a program there where it's an in-house program where you advance up to LPN and RN right inside the uh, facility, um, that would be something I'd be interested in. If not, I'm just going to go to school full time. Well, the best thing is that when when and if I get a job right away in this field, I'll be actually helping people who need it. That's, that would be the best part. I'm just not helping people get rich who are already rich by providing the skill. I'm actually helping people who need it.
For more information, contact the BCC Workforce Education Institute at 774-357-INFO. So that was some of our former students that have completed and are out in the working field. So just to close the program, I just want to reiterate what everybody else said. Once you join BCC, you are part of our BCC family. So continue to come. Please speak of your experience here at BCC. Be proud to say that I am a BCC graduate. Um, education is a never-ending process. You've just begun. Continue to strive for what you would like and give yourself the leading edge in the healthcare field. You all have what's necessary to continue your education. Again, I want to thank the instructors. We're very blessed to have them all, and we couldn't do this without them. Um, you are now the nuts and bolts of any healthcare facility. Be proud to say that you are a CNA. Remember to hold your head up high always. And again, myself and the staff at the Center for Workforce would like to congratulate you um, and wish you success in all you do. I have two quotes to close the program with. The first is a quote by Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You are the guy who decide where to go. And the second one is I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has ever known. So if we could have all the graduates stand one more time for congratulations. I love those smiles. <laughs> and thank you everybody for coming and we'd like to welcome you to have some cake and refreshments out in the foyer area out there after the ceremony. And thank you again.